The instructions for life are written in our DNA, a six-foot-long molecule that determines all of our physical traits, from the way we look to our susceptibility to certain illnesses. Each of the nearly 40 trillion cells in the human body contains an almost exact copy of this DNA, which is used to create molecules called proteins that facilitate the biological processes that make us who we are. But if DNA is the same in every cell, then how do we end up with all the different cell types that comprise the human body, each with their own shape, size, and function? The answer is epigenetics, a set of processes that help activate the right instructions in the right cells at the right time. Here is how it works. Think of DNA like a cookbook. With each gene, a section of DNA that contains instructions for building a specific protein being similar to a recipe. Epigenetic mechanisms help select which genes to activate or ignore. The end result is a mix of proteins inside the cell that affects how it behaves and determines what form it takes. The variety of cell shapes and functions is based on which genes are utilized, not changes in the DNA itself. How does epigenetics make these gene selections? It all starts with how DNA is stored in the cell. To keep itself organized, DNA wraps around wheel-like proteins called histones. This combination continues to twist upon itself until it creates a tightly packaged rope called chromatin. Genes in this form are locked away and won't produce proteins. A gene is activated when it is tagged with certain patterns of epigenetic marks. This loosens a specific portion of the DNA from the histone, allowing it to be read by molecular machinery and produce proteins. This process is called gene expression. Other epigenetic marks can be placed on a gene to block it from being read, a process described as silencing. Throughout the cell's life, epigenetic processes can selectively unravel portions of the DNA when they are needed and wrap them back up when they're not. If the epigenetic process is not carefully orchestrated, if a gene is inappropriately silenced or expressed, problems can arise. Overactive silencing, for example, makes genes inaccessible when they should be expressed. This results in a lack of necessary proteins that can lead to dysfunction in the cell, and ultimately, diseases like cancer, metabolic disorders, and neurodegenerative disorders. Armed with growing knowledge of how epigenetic processes can go awry, researchers are hard at work developing new treatments for these diseases. By continuing research in epigenetics, scientists believe the potential to help more patients is on the horizon. To learn more about the work at Van Andel Institute, please visit vai.org.